Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Time for another reading from Papa's Comic Books and Coffee. Today we're going to take on Marvel Comic Group's The Champions. This is number 17. I'm sorry, number 7. 25 cents back in August of 1976. The Man Who Created the Black Widow. Written by Tony Isabella and George Tusca. Okay. I'll tell you what, let's get right into it. The Champions. Welcome to the Champions Temporary Headquarters. A plush suite in the 23-story top dollar Los Angeles office building whose first visitor has quite surprisingly turned out to be, by all the gods, a bomb. It moves too swiftly for me to seize it. Don't even try, Herc. If fenced is right, it could be set to explode on contact. Wham, bah, but if I can't, cannot seize your, your device, then I shall render it harmless with but one smashing blow. That strike too, big fella. Let's see if I have any better luck going after from above. Yow, it reversed direction, shattered my ice slide. Fear not, friend Iceman, Hercules hath thou. It's heading this way again. Don't lose your cool, dicky boy. I think I know how to handle it now. It must be programmed to avoid anything that it can't break through. So the thick, super hard ice cylinder should leave it with only one way to go. Right, into Herc's hot little hands. I stand ready, my young ally. It shall not escape me a third time. What's going on in here? We heard a commotion and look out, Hercules, here it comes. Boom. This be the cause of any commotion, fair Natasha? Odd, though it may seem. Perhaps thy inventive companion can shed some light on its purpose. Treat it with kid gloves, Ivan. It might be dangerous. Ivan was handling toys like that before. Before you or I were born, my frozen friend, give him a half hour. And he'll tell you who made it, why they made it, and quite possibly what they did for breakfast, what they had for breakfast, the day they made it. I'm counting on Ivan's skill, my dear Black Widow, for what is the game without worthwhile adversaries. Hmm. Let's go to LaSalle. How sad that when next we meet, it shall not be for anything so trivial as mere sport. No, I'm afraid when next the old soldier has occasion to face Natasha Romanoff and her enigmatic Ivan, the three of us will be embroiled in a desperate struggle for survival. And on that ominous note, we switch scenes to a nearby hospital at an exasperated Emerson Bale. You're a fool, Mr. Clark, because I don't wish to be defended by the high-powered lawyer of the winged freak who put me in here. Don't be ludicrous, Mr. Bale. It's no use, Warren. He won't accept my aid, and without it, the fine scientific mind of Stuart Clark shall undoubtedly be left to the tender mercies of the penal system. Thanks for trying, Mr. Bale. I wasn't around when you and our other partners had it out with Mr. this Clark's fellow angel. What makes him so downright special? He's a genius, Johnny. Developed a suit, exoskeleton armor that can put him in a league with Iron Man, but when a research company he owned went bust, his mind snapped. He started robbing banks to get out of debt. That's where we come in. We had no way of knowing that rampage, as the police were calling him, was a sick man. Our last battle with him got pretty hairy. 
and ended with his attempted suicide. For a long time, the docs were, were here didn't think he would recover. As for why I'm trying to help him, isn't that what a champs are all about? I don't disagree with the sentiment, pal. But it's been my experience that nobody passes on a sure thing unless they've got a side bet going. Clark's up to something. So suppose I talk to him. Not as Johnny Blaze, but as the Ghost Rider. What the? Ugh. Somebody blasted the guards. And whoever it is wants to bushwhack us too. There you go. The Mighty Meat Snack. Slim Jims. Sweet jumping catfish. We can't let him prevent us from escaping with our newest team member, Griffin. Don't sweat it, Dark Star. What your black energy couldn't do, my razor sharp lion claws will accomplish quite nicely. I'll rip his heart out. Uh oh. From what I remember reading of the Griffin, he's a homicidal maniac. Cowboy, it's time for a hell blast. Amazing Adventures of the Recent Marvel, number 15. Not fast enough, Ghost Rider. These eagle wings aren't for show. And while I put out these puny flames, my tail will finish you off. He's still breathing, but not for long. That's enough, Griffin. Clark is our only objective for now. Lady, the only good superhero is a dead one. But it's no skin off my nose. If you want to let him live a little longer, I wanted the angel anyhow. Too bad he just turned tail and ran the minute he, uh, he got interesting in there. A gas attack can't hold on. Well, I'm falling. Sorry for the belated rescue, Mr. Clark, but the nurses aren't in the habit of giving out gas bottles to every winged man who runs in, in their supply room. The idiot, he doesn't realize I wanted to go with Darkstar and Griffin. I probably disappointed the Griffin by not going in there slugging. But Warren Worthington has grown up a lot during these past few months. I like to think I use my head more these days. Wow, sugar daddy. Those were good. Are you all right, Mr. Clark? Uh, uh, yeah, kid, I'm just fine. Now that I've had a chance to use the Echo Glove, Exo Glove, Dark Star smuggled into the hospital for me. Oof. And that's only the beginning. Wrong, mister. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. But the angel is nobody's punching bag. Calm down, fella. I'm just flapping hard enough to take you out of action. Not dump on you on a roof. You'll do neither, angel. My energy bands will squeeze the life out of you. They're already tightening. It's getting hard to... The angel is finished. Actually, the bands will loosen automatically when we leave. Yuri's plan calls for all the champions save the Black Widow and Ivan to die at the same time. If our bloodthirsty griffin knew that, the angel was still alive. He might kill him now and spoil everything. And while you ponder the meaning of that string of thoughts, gentle reader, they're flying off with Clark. That means they beat the angel. I can't do Warren any good down here, so I reckon all I can do is keep those buzzards in sight. I warned you about this, Dark Star. That flame-faced idiot is following us. Just get Clark to headquarters, Griffin. I'll deal with the Ghost Rider. Oh, great. The filly shoots out the weird black light of hers, and the road becomes an obstacle course. Somehow, I don't reckon I'd be too swift an idea to hit one of those things. Come on, Skull Cycle. It's time to do some fancy riding. Blast, this stunt just went from difficult to impossible. These things are moving closer together. I'm not going to make it. Boom. Angel, you pull me out of the blast. Heck, what are partners for? The Griffin and, his, and he others got clean away. We'll see them again, Johnny. 
I've got this nasty hunch that we've just fought the first battle of an all-out war. It can't be helped, Iceman. A lot of important people will be at tomorrow's dedication ceremonies. Oh, I skipped this part. Search the place top, from top to bottom. Huh, Fenster? You got any idea how long that'll take? The three of us? It can't be helped, Iceman. A lot of important people will be here tomorrow at dedication ceremonies. Publicity-wise, we can't afford any surprises, not like the one that flew through the window this morning. In truth, I am sorely confused by the pomp and circumstance attending the funding, the founding of the champions. Do we rec truly require all this? These are high-powered times, Hercules. A high-speed organization with plenty of manpower is needed to accomplish the kind of job we want to do. Perhaps, friend Fenster, but Hercules doth long for simpler times. You and me both, Hercules. I'm afraid my buddy Warren has taken this whole project way too far. Actually, actually, Dicky boy, there's a real danger. The champs could lose sight of the common Joes we're supposed to be helping. Think about it. I have, and it's just one more reason that once Warren gets the group running smoothly, the Iceman is calling it quits. If they remain here much longer, they are certain to discover me. I cannot risk that. I'll have to arrange a diversion, even if it means... Look. Hmm, superheroes assemble. Why is this man smiling? Must be crazy. There's somebody over there. What? I can see some, I can see on intruder's form, but the darkness doth cloak his identity. He's escaping into the corridor. If he reaches the stairwell, we'll never catch him. Only this, will, only this wall stands betwixt us and the base-born villain we pursue, and by the strength which is in mine, I shall stand no more. Crunch, oh no. It cost a small fortune to get that wall repaired by tomorrow. Before our slightly over-eager Olympian rips the whole building apart, I think I'd better stop over fleeing friend myself, our fleeing friend myself. I have him, Iceman, by my soul. Thou art but a child. I'm sorry, I sneaked in here, mister, but I had to. And mister? Yes, Sob, I heard about you and your friends on this television. The man said that if people who are in trouble come to you, that you're supposed to help them. I need help awful bad. What incredible good fortune. The child distracted them long enough for me to reach the opposite stairwell. Moreover, my scouting mission was a success. I've learned enough about our foes to ensure us the complete victory. Soon I will have my revenge. Revenge on the man who made me an outcast. I am the man the champions know only as Ivan, but who I know as my dear father. Life insurance, life insurance for persons from 20 to 80. Free, $1 million in cash. There you go. Meanwhile, in a jury rigged lab in the champion's temporary headquarters, our uninvited flying object breaks down into the three major components. Tasha, a hidden audiovisual unit in the front for communication and guidance, a storage unit in the center, and a propulsion unit in the end. Now the big question, old friend, is who sent it? The storage unit was the giveaway, kid. Look what's inside it. A black pearl. Ivan, there's only one man all the world who would send this. It's his kind of calling card, all right. You're slipping, comrades. Once you would have instantly realized my identity. You have the years weighed so heavily against us. The voice, it is him. Naturally, my little sauna and, and should you desire further verification, you have but to join me. I shall be waiting. I can see him, Ivan. He's on the roof across the street. There's only one way to learn what he wants. Natasha, wait. 
It might be a trap. Trap, yes, it could be. But why would Commissaire Brusca come after us now? It's been years since Ivan and I defected to America. They only tried to get me once. And that attempt was so clumsily done, I could never believe Bruskin had a part in it. Not that I haven't had an occasional altercation with my former Soviet masters in the past, but for a long time now, Ivan and I have stayed as far removed from politics as possible, carrying on our personal detente with those we over once served. Captain America and the Red Skull. Maybe that'll come up. Which brings us full circle to the question that started this reverie. Why does one of the Soviet Union's highest ranked intelligence chiefs come to America to see two people who used to be his top agents? He ducked out of sight while I was swinging over here. This is like one of our old training exercises. Oh, there you are. You once played the game with a touch of such subtly, old teacher. But there's something you should know. I don't play games anymore. Excellent, excellent. Had I not been prepared, you would have disarmed me and quite possibly broken my wrist. So it is you, after all these years. Those years have treated you kindly, Natasha. You've grown even lovelier than you were as a girl. But you were always a creature of rare beauty to me, a unique treasure, like precious. Black Pearl, your name, your nickname for me, remember? What do you want with us, Bruskin? Ivan and I are through with your way of life. I would have thought you'd realize that. I trained you, Natasha. No one knows you better than I. And you know, you and Ivan have always been more than agents to me. It's good to see you again, old friend. We will have a fit reunion later, Sana, but now I must warn you of... Oh, no. Don't waste time worrying about him, widow. The Titanium Man. Your troubles are just beginning. Next issue, Darkstar Griffin, Outcast, Rampage. Bullet Man and the Human Bullet, G.I. Joe. Happy landings. Well, I hope you enjoyed that reading of the champions. Once again, this book is available on my eBay webpage, papas-comic-books, if you want it. Until next time, happy reading. Hit like, hit dislike, leave a comment, ring the bell, have a cup of coffee. Whatever floats your boat, whatever trips your trigger, whatever makes your tootsie roll, whatever makes your skirt float up. Have a nice day.